Got a really clean MX650. And I'm putting 48 volts to it. Um, also have the Boss Man. That's got LifePo 4 lithium batteries. <clears throat> this one I just went with sealed lead acid. It's for the wife. Just keeping the price down a little. <clears throat> so basically all I did, I didn't really change anything. Uh, I was able to fit it all right in here. So the two normally go like this. This one normally goes just like that. Um, so in order to get these covers to fit, <clears throat> you got to kind of place it just right. Uh, this corner is just about hitting and that's just perfect. And so put a lot of hot glue down and hot glue the corners and then zip tied it down. It is solid. And then here's the covers. And you get the covers on you got to make a little modification to the covers when i push this up tight it uh, actually fits in there quite well basically the battery is just about goes to the edge and if you look here it's right before the lip and right before the curve <clears throat> but you can uh, set the battery up there you know and get it in but it's a little tighter fit than that one I did all put together. Oh, allergies are killing me, sorry. So, I always do all my connections, uh, crimp them, heat shrink them, and then once they're on, I pop them up a bit and put hot glue under them and then hot glue over. And that just keeps, I mean, this is solid. It's just so your wires don't get wiggled off, bouncing around, no metal touches it in arcs or anything. I put um, fuses between every connection. So the way I laid this one out is I consider this my far left battery, battery one, battery two, battery three, battery four. So if you look here, this is my main positive. It's the one gonna be coming off the pack to um, turning it on um, in the controller. From there, you got the negative of battery one, jump into the positive of battery two, negative of battery two, jumping to the positive of battery three, negative of battery three, jumping to uh, positive of battery four, and then this is my main negative for the that goes to the controller. So that's the main negative, main positive, 48 volts. <clears throat> and then what I did was I wired in, um, this is the charger. So I wired this in, this goes right to the main positive and the main negative. So that will just charge. You know, I, you gotta make sure you remember to get a uh, 48 volt charger. Can't use the 36 anymore. Uh, I also wired in, here we go, uh, this voltmeter and that will go in the gas tank right where I kind of got the square there and then we can keep an eye on the voltage I'm trying to think of anything else that you might want to know but yeah there's there's a good look at how it fits and everything tucks right in and you can't even see it but this thing rips uh, oh yeah so the other one that I got the life Po four batteries in. Uh, everything is stock. 650 motor, 650 controller, 650 throttle. Nothing is shunted. Nothing has changed. Uh, I weigh 180 pounds. I've rode it probably 20 full charges, um, and that's on grass and turning, like almost like motocross, like trails. Uh, engine or the motor smells a little bit. Gets a little hot, but nothing's broke. Everything keeps going. But this give you an idea of how quick this thing is now. At 48 volts. Here we go. <clears throat> now, when I did my other one, I think it put it up to like 26 miles an hour. But with my weight, you know, it's okay on the cement, but you start getting into grass and everything and you don't have the torque. So what I did was, uh, this sprocket's more 
uh, more of a headache to get to, more expensive. This little sprocket here, it's uh, only like eight bucks, and then uh, the stock is 11 tooth. If you go to like electric scooter parts uh, or website, something like that, I have another video, and uh, it's like eight or nine bucks. You get nine tooth, and it'll drop it down to about 20 miles an hour, and uh, but it's got a lot more torque. Um, so that means low end power. It doesn't take so long to get up to the speed. So you lose about six miles an hour top end, but you uh, gain the torque. And to change that, you just uh, pop these two screws out and then there's a bolt, it's reverse thread. I get, like I said, check out my other video on that, but it's all done now. I'm gonna put it back together and uh, it'll look just like a stock bike. And if you're gonna do this, I recommend getting all the same batteries, same age, same brand, same amp hour. Um, that's about it. You can do some modifications to this, shunt it to slam more uh, amperage through and everything. I'm not going to do that right now, so we're just going to let it be. All right, check out my other stuff. Daddy too fast. <laughs>